morning everyone, it's Monday morning, currently 7.10. I'm just on my way down to the shop with a really annoying speaker. So funnily enough, I've cut both cables on that <laughs> snowman now. And it, it's still squeaking, I'm not entirely sure how it's working. Um, it's clearly picking up some kind of field in the car. <laughs> and making making noise because of it um, but literally the cables have been cut on it now so I don't know how it's working uh, magic it's got some kicker magic that's falling out of it that's what it is um, so to catch you up to speed first job is already in this morning it was dropped off yesterday we've got the big camper in to do the Pioneer Navi the dash thing and all that bits and bobs I'm waiting on the steering control harness because they sent that out wrong yesterday or Saturday um, so that hopefully is going to be with me this morning and I can get the job sort of buttoned up. We've got to do front and rear speakers which I can crack on with because I've already got them in the shop. I've got to do a dash camera which I've already got in the shop. Head unit which I've already got in the shop so we can kind of sort the installation of the head unit and the wiring harness will be the last thing we do. Uh, weekend wise um, I didn't manage to get out in the car um, only because I was just flat out busy. Um, so we had stuff to fill out for the solicitors. That was most of Sunday was spent going through paperwork and stuff. Um, I've got letters from the DVLA where my insurance company have messed up. And basically, currently, the Mercedes and Liz uh, wifey's cube is, is not on the insurance policy. So they're down as uninsured. So I've had a fine sent through from the DVLA, which I've tried to been sort out the details of that all, all weekend. Um, so we went swimming yesterday morning with granddad and the kids and then Sunday was kind of like paperwork day emailing responding to customers and sorting out insurance details and things like that so it's a bit of a crazy afternoon uh, and then we're flying back into work again today on a busy job it's gonna be a quite a crazy week quite a crazy week Got a lot in this week but we're approaching Christmas steadily hope you're good hope you're well um, We've had a subscriber stall. Um, not not really much has changed with the channel so much. I mean, obviously I was a bit lax with videos towards the end of last week, um, just because life takes over and you kind of don't have the time to start running through things. So unfortunately that was a bit of a problem. Um, see the DVLA are out this morning with their trucks removing cars with no tax. <laughs> There's loads of clamps around town. Um, which I've seen over the last sort of two weeks probably. So they run a van round that's got AMPR cameras. And if you don't know what AMPR is, it's automatic number plate recognition cameras. So they drive it around and it's got a camera basically on every corner of the roof reading regs as they drive past. And then it basically flags up instantly on their driver's dash, whether there's a vehicle that they've passed, make and model color, that the registration has been read or it isn't taxed or insured or whatever. And then they hop out and clamp it. And obviously if the customer or the person or the owner doesn't get involved quickly enough they basically come with a high ab and pick the car up and stick it on the back of the truck it goes away to a compound and if you don't reply they crush it simple as that so there's loads of yellow clamps around town um, which is quite shocking many many well not shocking but stupid many many cars being towed um, we need some breakfast I don't know what I'm gonna do this morning maybe porridge and a coffee sit down and chill out with the boys next door and chat uh, and then start the day once I've kind of woken up. I had a mega long sleep last night, so I feel quite refreshed. Um, but I know <laughs> we've got a mountain of a job today. So I'm hoping it all goes smoothly. I'll come back to you when I've got the, got the car sort of started and opened up, or van or motorhome, whichever way you want to call it. But I'll see you in a bit, guys. Here we go, here's the big boy. We've got uh, obviously lots to do to this today. Speakers in the back, speakers in the front, uh, dash cameras, and the big Pioneer unit for this. It's a nice bit of kit this, huge old toy. I'll go through it in a minute, because it is pretty awesome. It's got like a big bed and seating area in the back, but I'll show you that in a minute. We've got the boys out here warming up because they're cold, making some noise. Everyone's on cold start this morning, including me. Coffee, everyone. Cheers. See you in a bit. Right then, dudes. Let's go through this thing. So it is um, basically a Fiat Ducato chassis. Um, 
is, is quite large. At the minute we have an Accent Japanese, Ch sorry, Chinese stereo, which everyone complains about um, because these things are just cheap and shitty and garbage. Um, obviously, skylight, we've got the blind across the front, which we're gonna have to be careful of. We've got aerials to do on here, microphone to do up there, and the big Pioneer nine inch that's going on the dash. Um, USB somewhere, right. USB that's going somewhere. Um, we've got front speakers to change. So we've got a mid-range in here and a tweeter currently in there. Obviously we're gonna change this out for a kicker set in the front. So components, head unit, microphone, digital aerial, USB. And then in the back, obviously this is the, living quarters if you will um so we've got sink cooker fridge spare seats toilet shower in the back we've got like a bedded and kind of seating area obviously a table can screw into here as well and then cupboards around the roof a little bit of a skylight action going on here and then in the back he wants me to cut in some speakers up here um, and run the cabling to the front because at the minute there is nothing here. So we've got to do speakers in the back It's gonna be a fun job. I'm gonna make a hell of a mess um, We've got to try and get the cabling down um, And then basically through all this plastic stuff and to the front of the vehicle. So whether that means we go um, You know into a body panel out and then underneath. I don't know yet. We'll have to have a look at that But that's quite a challenge. We've got one to do up here and then one to do the other side as well. Fun times. Right, so I'm gonna crack on with this and start poking around and seeing where and what I can get through. I'm probably gonna remove all the interior um, to, to give myself an idea of where this cable's gonna go. I doubt we're gonna go across the top and down because all of this is fitted and I don't fancy taking apart an Ikea kitchen because it's screwed and glued and yeah. I don't want to do that. So we're probably going to go down and out. Um, same with this side. If I can link the two, happy days. But we'll figure out what goes on with this. I do not fancy cracking or chipping any of this wood. So we'll try and be as gentle as we can. But it's it's going to be a bit of a mission job, this. Um, we have one cupboard here. And obviously another cupboard there. And I've basically got like this little square void in the corner which is where we're going to have our speaker into and then cable out off so i'm going to have to figure all that out um, so fun times i'm going to get cracking on this i'll see you in a bit right dudes cracking on with the simple stuff um so let me just show you where we're at so i've got the seats removed as you can see okay so we've got obviously the back seats out uh taking out the light pods so i can get access from up there, we're gonna go down the edge, in through the light trim, out the bottom of the vehicle, and then obviously to the front. And we're gonna do that on both sides. So far, I have marked out my speaker grill, where it's gonna sit, which will be the, um, in the back, we're gonna have the kicker DS's, like this. Now, what I need to do, a little bit of mathematics, and I'm just gonna try and bring you along for the ride, is <coughs> we're gonna get, just find a way of putting you so you can see what's going on there we go right so um i've drawn my hole at the top right we've got our speaker mounts there and we've got a hole that dictates where the center of the the tweeter is going to go but now i need to find the exact tweeter point because obviously i need to drill a hole so what we're going to do we've got our vernier and this works with every circle for finding the middle if you want a little bit of a maths lesson so we turn our vernier on, make sure it's zeroed. Then we're basically measuring the inside of this ring, okay? Which will give me, we're roughly about 41, 42 millimeters, okay? So 42 millimeters is our, is our center section from this. Now, what we then do is we halve 42 millimeters, which would be 21, all right? So we just get the vernier close to 21 obviously there's going to be you know a tiny little discrepance but that's fine 98 97 right we lock the vernier there so we're at 20.99 now we get a compass 
<coughs> make sure it's tight. And we open the compass up to half of the 42, which would be 21 mil. Okay, so we measure this, we squeeze it in until we've got the two points matching, which will be roughly there. Now, half of any circle, right, will basically give you the center. So I'm just gonna pop my light there for a minute. So here's our circle, right, at the top there. Now what I can do is I can get my compass, we put the pointy bit on the outside, and then I basically draw a little line like that across the middle. And then I can go anywhere else on the circle in a different point and draw another line. Where those two lines cross, that would be our center point to drill. Simple mathematics, okay? And that basically means we get the exact center of that circle in order to put the uh, large hole saw through it to give us the gap for the magnet and everything else. Same again on this side. So we get our compass. And let's put the torch at the back so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. So we got our compass. Put the pin. Doing this one-handed. It's very hard hold on a camera. So we got a pin. We draw a line. Go anywhere else on the circle on the edge. Doesn't matter because it will always give us the center if we're half and half. We draw another line, and so there we go. That cross, the center of that cross will be our exact center of that circle. So now I've got a mark to drill, so I'll put a pilot hole through there. We can then use a big, big hole saw, make loads of dust and mess, but whatever, we'll have to hoover it up. Drill exactly, and that will be our location for the grill to sit perfectly between these two points. So I want it basically up to that edge of the wood and onto this edge of the wood in the same fashion. So it's equal both sides and that will give us our perfect drill points. So we've marked our screw holes for the outer, hole for the center. We're gonna get cut in and then hoover up the mess and then go again. See you in a bit. Right then dudes, there we go. So two holes cut into the void with all the screw holes and stuff attached. Obviously I checked for that cable first. Um, got my little mirror up the back here and I can see kind of round it look up there. So we've got our holes screwed for our speakers. Grills are level. Speakers fit absolutely perfect. Could not ask for more than that. So we've got two of those to go in with the grills and they will be screwed in, look at that, dead center. Simple measuring gets you, gets you a right result. Um, so we're gonna run some cable now up into there um, and then follow our track out through the bottom of the vehicle, down through the holes, see what I've got underneath and take it all to the front. Uh, and then everything else we're doing today is all in the front area. So once I've got this lot buttoned and cleaned up, um, speaker feeds in, we're kind of finished over here, which is, Happy days, right, so I'm gonna finish off this and get the speakers screwed up, I'll come back to you in a moment.
My, what a ball ache, Jesus Christ. So, basically we've got our first one in, speakers up, we fiber tape the loon to make it black, so when it's hidden in the, in the shut, obviously it's not visible as much as possible. We've got a speaker in exactly where I wanted it to be on the fitment side, right up to those edges of the two bits of wood, which looks sick. So we've got a five inch in, gonna do this one in a minute. And then we've got to basically chase the cable out that hole under the vehicle, put it in some protective, uh, probably flexible conduit, run it all the way to the front and then start the doors and then maybe work into the cab. Fun times, everyone. Going well though, we're going well. See you in a bit. Oh dear God, right. Jesus, this is uh, a fun one. Let me just shut this up. So we're just about to stop for lunch. Um, my God, kicking my ass this morning, right. So we've got both cables through the car, out the bottom. Obviously speakers are fitted, installed in the back. We've got to put the seats back together, but that kind of stuff is done. Cables are down around to here. Now we're going to plastic conduit both the cables, shoot them under the vehicle, cable tie them all the way along, get them up into the front in either this kind of area or in through the front here, then up to the screen. Then we've got to do the door speakers in the front, which shouldn't be too bad. Um, and then we're doing the edge unit. <sighs> but I need some food. I've got a headache. <sighs> I'll see you in a bit, everyone. Bye. Right then, fellas, we're back from lunch. Got the heat wrong because it's uh, blooming freezing. The temperature's just dropped right off. It's got really cold. Um, so we've got our cable up into our conduit, as you can see here. And I'm just making my way on running it through the cab. But look at this. So, tow bar wiring here. Tow bar wiring at the top just there and it crosses look right in between the suspension airbag that's not good so i'm gonna have to move that out of the way because um yeah the boys that have done this conversion have run the tow bar cabling right through the side of the airbag and obviously that rubbing will probably pop a bag and deflate the vehicle on one side that won't be very good I'm not sure why we've got random bits of tape as well holding on these two uh these two tubs that's not good um, but there's a whole host of cable ties under there. We need to get my cable through the car, obviously, without interfering with any suspension components. So I'm gonna get on my creeper board and give it a, give it a tickle. So I'll see you in a bit. boys oh we're getting there <laughs> so <clears throat> let's bring it up to speed so we've got our rear cables obviously our rear speaker cables these are now here in the vehicle ready to go come up through the floor little grommet painted drill a hole all that fun stuff um front speakers so mid-range is now in the door just got to put the cover back on and then the tweeter i've just started putting in there obviously we've remo removed the factory uh factory paper rubbish and one beautiful crappy tweeter so that's gone uh same thing we're going to do so crossovers behind the dash we're going to run mid-range through the door as normal and then tweeter cable this one here will run straight up into the dash and connect to its tweeter input so that's that bit done and then we'll start the other side in and then we go and microphone down and so on and so forth 
So we're getting there slowly but surely. It's kicking my ass, um, but we're getting on. What we at now? Uh, time wise is half past three. So it's not going to be done today. Nowhere near. Um, but we're we're getting on with it. See you soon. All right, everyone. Christ. Um, so we've got some really uh, kind of snowy rain coming down at the minute. It's like really dusty. But I tell you what, it's given, I don't know whether you can pick this up on camera, but it's given the chaser um, the best um, paint water beadlet drops and the Lotus is good as well. Almost perfect. It's on everything, but full of, full of goodness. Um, so yeah, where we're at today. Well, uh, head unit is kind of built. Let's go on the other side. Let me grab a... Let's grab a torch and go from there. Um, we're doing well, doing well with it. I'm pleased on the progress, definitely. There's a lot to do, don't get me wrong. Oh, am I gonna fit? Room for a fatty. <laughs> right. Get my torch on, there we go. Right, so I've got the head unit kind of built up. So here is our sort of pioneer stereo it's in its what they require the makeshift kind of cage for the peugeot citroen fiat kind of input so that's our fascia kit um with the radio the screen inserted in obviously i'll clean off my grubby little fingerprints um we've got the receptacle part of the cage that's already in so that's the bit that the cage that we've just fitted to needs to go into um, this side tweeter's done, but I've just started putting microphone in and all the other bits and bobs and getting all the um, USB cable fiber taped and things like that with its labels on so it's nice and ready to go for the CarPlay port one, port two. Um, and that's pretty much it. Everything else is out. So we've got the old unit out. Rear speakers are done. I just need to put back all of the pillows and cushions. But we have two rear speakers, one there and one over there looking all lovely perfectly measured up cable is tucked down the side and as you can see other than the little bit that goes through the already cut out hole at the bottom there you can't really see it so it's a nice addition without cables being stuck on and things like that so that's quite cool i'm very happy about that um but yes yeah, so we got head unit to kind of finish off tomorrow with some wiring and the door speaker on the driver's side and the tweeter um i need to kind of Put the cabling from the microphone down this side and the digital aerial and get all the usbs and stuff in situ with the gps is done um, and get everything across to the radio side then i can basically bolt up that a pillar trim then i've got to take apart that a pillar trim and do the same thing over there so i've kind of got to do it in two stages but it is certainly coming along kicking my ass but i am winning i am definitely winning i love the I love the skylight that we've got out the top. That's pretty funky. Um, <laughs> Jody obviously popped in today with the big box truck. Um, so you'll have kind of two videos for that. One from the guys with the big box van and uh, the normal the normal progress on this. The moon has just come out. The sky is looking very ominous. But we are due to get sort of like a bit of a temperature change. The wind direction changes. And the stuff now is coming in from the north so we now have not so much you know we were talking about the beast from the east um that's kind of resided at the minute and we've now got literally arctic weather coming down um so it's going to get real cold i think over the next couple of days even colder than it is now um but that's it for me for today on a monday two wet boys <laughs> and a stripped auto trail um but i'll catch up with you again in the morning obviously it's not on tuesday jody is ill but i'm expecting he's going to be in um so we'll have some tall stuff hopefully that should be good um but i've knackered um i'm gonna get off home um cut up a video for you lot cut up two videos for you lot and I will see you bright and early in the morning for some more fun and games. Oh, we've got one of these coming in this week, Gary. Get excited. Yes. 
See you in the morning, everyone. Take care. Bye.